Hello guys, welcome back to Coding with Bobby and in this video uh, we're gonna see how we can debug our uh, store or the current state and we've already done the setup of our actions and reducer and the store and uh, along with that Redux provided uh, which gives us the gateway to integrate Redux store uh, with our React application. So now in this we'll see if the store is really working and if the state has been applied to our React app and if we can debug it. So I'll just run it, uh, npm run dev Okay, it's working fine. I'll go to our local host. I'll just reload it. Yeah, works fine. And we can just install Redux DevTools Chrome extension. It's also available for Mozilla or Edge. I've already got it installed. You can just need to click on it to Chrome and boom. After that, we can just go to inspect. You can just check once if the extension is working. I've only set it to work on the local host. If it's on all sites, then also it's fine, but better to have on local host. And then we can just go to inspect and I'll go to Redux. Inside Redux, okay. Uh, sometimes this error may occur that you may see these uh, state, these are internally managed by our Next.js. So you can, sometimes this might occur, so you can even check on this. You can directly click on the extension. Uh, don't worry about that uh, issue uh, this is a fault in that uh, extension only yeah so you see uh, our value was set at zero and name was set at constant name now if I'll change the initial state uh, we can just check it and we'll rerun it uh, suppose my reducer and I'll add one more value suppose profile URL random URL and now I'll just rerun it npm run dev and I'll just reload it and we'll just see okay that issue I'll just go to inspect and check hopefully this would be working we'll go to our Redux and yeah you see now this is our current state uh, now this action uh, whenever we have started any action this is an init action by default you need not worry about this when we dispatch any action we'll show you in the upcoming videos like suppose to increment the value or to decrement the value then we can see what type of action has been dispatched and also the payload and the state change and the differences in the state so I guess this is pretty much for this video with this extension you'll be able to have a quick overview or the debug into your Redux uh, store and this issue if you face that issue not showing the current state but of the next year state uh, you can try one or two times or you can try from here it will work definitely after that yeah so thanks a lot for this video thank you